Today I will try to review this and maybe use this new Artel 408 to activate my old uh, OEM sensor. I'll leave here for a second, you guys can take a look. Okay. Feel free to freeze the pause the video if you need to read any of these things. It's also for me to um so let's take a look what's in the box. It opens up like this, drops down. Okay, in the box, first thing I see is a red activation. Look like it's a magnetic. Yeah, it is a magnetic ring. So it's a metal uh, underneath of this uh, mat. So it's a, there's a suction to it. Okay. There's an owner's manual. Manual, I think. This is what they call registration update. Okay. You'll need to register this to get updates for the machine, I guess. And here's a service tool diagnostic manual. So if you guys um, watch other YouTube or Artel's their own um, training video, it goes very deep on this. So we might not go through that today. Looks like there is a plug. It plugs in to charge back in the hole. And there's another piece of the gel silica. Interesting. It comes with a sensor in the packet. It's Artel, its own programmable sensor. There's a button here. That's really cool. You can watch more detail on this on their website. Okay, this is more just an open box and also a test to see if we can activate this. So let's move this out of the way. I'm gonna pull the sensor out. Okay. And we'll rotate this thing around. You got an N, Y, I, I'm just gonna assume that's yes and no. Up and down, up and down, Wi-Fi or transmitting, question mark, power button. There's a little film on top, it says TS408. And I'm pretty sure that little piece right here has a few functions from what I see on the website. One of it, I believe you can, oh, I, I think it's only fit Artel's sensor. So if I pull this out again, yeah, so you can put their sensor in and it will hold and program the sensor that way. It's like a holder for the sensor. So this is a Chevrolet Corvette sensor from the OEM factory. It doesn't fit in there. It's too small. So you guys can see the hole is too small or the sensor is too big. Okay. And also the magnetic thing. You can stick that thing in there. Somehow to activate an old version of T P T M TPMS. Okay. In the back it says Artel Professional Scan Tool. There's a rating, 5 volt, 1 amp. Actually, it only takes very little power. It's sealed around. There's a rubber piece they put over it. Okay. Okay, that's where the USB plug is. So, let's see if they come with any power straight from the box. So, let's open this. Oh, it does. And the battery is about 90%, 80 to 90%. Perfect for what we need to do. So, let's just start from the box and see if this works. For the first sensor, I'm going to put it right there. Or somewhere I gotta stick it right like that okay so we're gonna go we're gonna select the first one is it a touch screen okay it's not a touch screen so let's go yes and we're gonna go to it beeps let's go to Chevy Chevrolet Chevrolet down yes and we're gonna go to Corvette Corvette. Okay, and uh, it has the year. So my car is 2017. I have three options of 2017. In this case, I'm gonna check on um, the OEM sensor. It says 315 slash 433 megahertz. So any of this will work. Let's slide on there. There's a serial number on the, on the very top. Right here. Um, I just what I'm gonna do is just I'm just gonna select the um, let's do the 400 because it's more powerful I think so let's go and do that one 433 uh, scan s single sensor okay and I believe is I had to hit this okay okay so I got an ID number pressure why is there a pressure it's, I don't understand why there's a pressure zero temperature 24 maybe it was there's some low pressure in the cap um and i hit n and i gotta let me try again okay now zero pressure i think there's some little pressure was containing the cap so it was 11 
and the voltage is great. So I mainly want to check if all the voltage is fine. It's okay. So that one's okay. Let's try the next one. Got four wheels. Okay, the voltage is okay. And I don't remember the ID number, so let's just read 108 in the very end of this. And... Okay, the ID does change. So that's a... Uh, voltage is okay. Because you don't want to install this in the car when the voltage is low, then you have to rip the tire off, especially with a big, wide, low-profile tire like Corvette. Those tire ones are removed, and to remount those, the damage on those tires are enormous. So you rather not to change tire all the time or reuse the tire. So... Okay, the voltage is okay. So all this um, tire pressure sensor are great. Uh, the reason I got this is the local tire shop asking for $35 every time they program this, okay? And the Corvette, what it does, has a learning mode. As you learn, about 20 to 30 minutes, you have to drive around. What this can do is talk to the car. This, the reason I know about this model is the tire guys was holding this. And I did not know this was only like $100 or $150. And they basically talk to the car as they scan each wheel, they register to the car immediately. So you don't have to drive around for 20, 30 minutes and worry about you have to stop and waste gas and especially with uh, high-end cars. Just, you might get an accident just because you try to drive a certain mileage. You can go too fast, you can go too slow. It basically asks you to drive like 20 miles an hour for 10 minutes. I mean, where can you drive 20 miles an hour for 10 minutes without stopping the traffic? There's not a school zone at the 25 miles zone that long. So this is really great. I'm going to try this on after I mount the car. And I might just keep it because for $35 on any wheel store, tire wheel store, they charge for doing this. Every time you switch from one set of tire wheel and tire package to another set, have two sets. So every time you switch then, they, you gotta re reprogram this, $35. Of course, you have to drive to the tire shop, asking and making an appointment, all that stuff. You can just do this at home for $150 or $100. And the 408 is the color screen version. I really like it. I think this, this, this is good. So the next one is a relearn procedure. We'll do that next for the next video. So I found something really interesting. We can look at it. It's uh, my device. I go and hit that and I plug this in. This has a really old traditional USB head from like many, many years ago. But that's the one that came along. I plug in and I start to charge. Okay. And the next thing is I went to setting. I went to setting and market America, English, format, pressure. So I go ahead and hit yes. And I'm going to go to PSI. Okay, and that's in US. It was in Celsius. I changed it to uh, Fahrenheit. And it was in kilometer. I changed it to miles. Beeping. Sure. Power on. Power off. Five minutes. Yeah, let's leave it five minutes. That's fine. Time and date. And this is at March. So right now is November the f 1st. In two days will be U.S. election for Donald Trump or Joe Biden. Oh, wait. Let me do that again. The time is... It's a 24-hour system. So let's go ahead and do 12. I believe you only have to do this once. Okay. Yes. 1248. TPN's Program limit on market. Okay, so that's it. And the latest t test, it's the same thing. And go back. TPMS. Actually, gonna see information. Okay, it does remember the part I, I did earlier. Okay. Toolkit. try that don't care okay let me go ahead and update this so I'm gonna go to update 